I think I want to move my setup from this room into this room. I'm trying to upgrade my setup. Key montage. <laughs> Boom! So today, it's day two. What I'm trying to do is trying to build my background for the stream. So I already have my uh, monitors and uh, CPUs slightly set up. There's still wires on the bottom part, but I'm working on this uh, shelf. I took it apart because I wanted to put some LEDs behind. However, I want the LEDs not to show too much. I just want to see the, the glow. So I'm going to put it behind the panel right here. It used to be fully covered, top to bottom. What I did was I actually just cut strips and to support the actual shelf. This is an IKEA shelf that I had for a long time. It had a couple of damage already because of the moves. Um, not my move right now, but you know, moving house and stuff. But wanted to make use of it. So yeah, here I am doing this one. All right, let's get to it. Confession on my end, I had a lot of iterations of how I configure my LED because I want my LED to be number one, seamlessly attached to my configuration. Number two, Wi-Fi connected and connected to my Google Home. And number three, they have to be cheap. So I had to think about the measurement, the orientation of the wires and how I'm going to cable manage each and every one of them. So it took me a long time. However, I think the end results justifies the entire effort. So tip for you, before you go and put in all of the things on the table or put everything in between, make sure that you do your cable management planning first before putting in the hardware because you don't want to have spaghetti wiring connection in between just to make your layout work or drill holes to the table. I mean, to each their own, but for me, to save you a lot of heartaches, do that first. Plan ahead. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to put in slacks on your HDMI cable behind your monitor. Because your monitor has a swivel on it, ideally, you don't want it to move or you already have maximized the distance of your monitor between your wall, the table, and you. However, there may be times that you would want to move the monitor. You want to give yourself that flexibility. Allow a slack behind your monitor for that HDMI cable so that you don't pull it accidentally and you need to reconnect them and reorient your entire configurations, etc., etc. To save yourself from heartaches, give that HDMI cable some slack. This bookshelf that you see here on screen has been with me for years now, three to four years. I got it from Ikea still, and it's the Billy model. I, admittedly, it's quite pricey, it's under $120, but at this point in time, I'm giving new light to it. It has been damaged during one of my moves, carrying person damaged the behind. Didn't mind it because yeah, it's been old, so it's due for an upgrade, but I want to breathe new life into it. So as you can see here, what I did is I took out the three-fourths of the backhand side so that the LEDs could be reflected or could be could be used, the back end portion could be used. And I just used the bottom one-third portion of the drawer. The reason being is that the integrity and design of the shelf actually ties into that piece, the back end piece, right? It makes the entire structure stable. So if you completely remove them, it's just a box. There's no triangles in between to support the grid. So you may want to put that one or leave that portion whenever you're doing this types of modification. <laughs>
Alright, and we're back. Day two or three is now done. This took me quite some time to wire and rewire and wire again. I will show you the progress in a few, but still a couple of caveats. Number one, the room is still echoey. I tried to put things into the room, however, it did not help that much. You can still hear some um, echoes inside the room that is expected. So I ordered some foams from Shopee right there. Just going to wait for it to come through. The other one is that my CPU is still on the floor. I ordered a couple of brackets because I felt that the CPU, it would be a bit better use for my space if I put it on the bottom of my desk, not on top of my desk because we're only using 100 or 120 centimeter lemon uh, table from Ikea. So I don't think I have enough real estate to do so. All right, let me show you the room. This is not the final form, so don't judge me. Boom, all right. So the thing that you've seen me work on a while ago was for this shelf. Um, this is an IKEA shelf and it has been me for quite some time, about two years now. What we did precisely is that I actually removed the back end side here and just kept the bottom part so that it doesn't shake too much. It still has a wobble, but I already conceded to that fact because it was broken when um, I removed the house. So it's one of the things. Some of my collections, this is the Lego chess sets that I, I currently have. I did install an LED light on behind it. However, I am not happy with how it turns out, so I'm not using it as of yet. The other thing that you may notice here is that I actually put a plug on the bottom side. This is where I keep some of my stands, lights, cam. This is where I installed a extension wire. As you can see, I actually ran a wire the side to the bottom of um, the PC one of my pet peeves are wires everywhere so I did that that's because we don't have an outlet here and I want to be able to charge my stuff on this shelf and um, make it a bit more modular I can connect my Vongru uh, in my PC via Bluetooth so that's where it stands there All right now let's go to the PC if we sit down here as you can see, this is my PC setup, or like my desktop setup. Two monitors, left, right. I'm not quite happy with this gap. I want it to be closer. However, if I make it closer, the arm behind it would touch the wall. So it's a matter of concession between one uh, inch apart here, or I move the monitor forward one inch, so I lose more real estate on my table. That's the case, which I don't like. The other thing is that I also use this to prop up a little bit or help this camera to stand. Because if you can see, this actually is propped up by a selfie stick connected to this um, bracket right here, or a clamp. This was supposed to be a desk clamp that I use for my lights here. But because I'm no longer going to be using much of my green screen, um, I used that one. I have an idea on how to prop up my green screen here. Um, whenever I need it, but um, that's a DIY that I want to show you in like the fourth day, fifth day of the scene. So for this one, I'm using, actually I'm just waiting on my capture card to come through. I haven't had it received on the mail yet, so I'm not using my Sony A5100. I bought this good deal from um, Carousel. Shout out to that guy. Uh, I think his name is Mighty Ducky. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to give him a shout out there. And um, my Logitech C920. And yes, I'm one of those guys that I forgot about removing this as of yet. I'll just remove it sometime. Okay, the other thing is that I put place my ring light here and I use this clamp. I do recommend using this clamp. I think the name of the clamp is... There you go. Forgot the name of the clamp, but um, I'll get I give that um, clamp a super good review because um, it's twenty dollars. It's eight dollars more than what we get on Shopee, but it really is good because can prop up this bad boy right here. I'm using a quick release uh, clamp for my, the camera, so whenever we want to use it on our end, we can just release it and use it for our end. And this one is the IKEA lamp. I moved it from where it was. It was supposed to be a headlight for us when we were streaming on the other room, but I move it here because it's housing our Yi light right there. So the mess that we haven't um, done as of yet is on the bottom part. You can see all the wire connections there, running up to there. 
there. It's a jumbo mess. But as you can see, I've elevated, elevated it here. It's not that bad. But once all of my capture cards have come through through the mail, I will be moving that one. I will be elevating this. I know it's bad practice to put it on the floor because the dust comes in. Hoping to elevate this using a bracket. I'll show you when it comes through. Hopefully it's good. All right, and behind me is the artwork that we have. I used 3M, uh, the Velcro type, to prop it very, very close. What I did not use was the hooks because um, from experience, the hook doesn't really hold this one very well. This felt super, super cool in a sense that it's super tight, yeah. And see these, it's my Avengers without cap. I need a cap. Anybody who wants to cap, you can give me cap, it'll be great, okay? That's it for now. And I'd probably show you another clip or like catch you when my packages come through again. All right, it's here. So the clamp came through. We're going to use that one to prop up the PC. Personal preference, I don't want my PC to be on the floor. So that's why I bought this clamp. I bought it the Shopee at this amount. It says it can carry 15 kg. Hopefully it works. So, it's time to build. of the build is now complete the wires have been done and I uh, the shelf has been put up it's like there kind of nice let me show you what we're working with so the shelf actually elevates it real real quick this is the bracket right and our wiring we already have made the proper or like best cable management that I can muster. Still need to work on that one. I'm waiting for some wires to come through. So my idea is to have one line going through that way. Bottom part, this part I need to finish as of yet. I don't know what I want to put in this socket. So uh, other than that, should be good. But in the focus right here, on top of the PC, which is nice. Yeah, kind of cool. For now, this one came through. I believe this is the phone. Time to unbox. 